Hey guys, Stream Interact War Veteran here, back with another video. I wanted to show you something that every um, RC guy, if you're using a LiPo battery, should own as far as I'm considered. This is just my opinion, but it's a great thing to have regardless. And it is a some sort of LiPo cell voltage uh, meter balancer. This is a, just a checker, basically. I don't know how it would balance anything, but... It shows you if you don't, if you use these Traxxas batteries and you don't have one of these live ones, because you can get the next step down that should charge these regardless. Um, you really, really need one of these to see if your cells are balanced. Now it comes with a bunch of wires. Um, more than this, I believe there should be one more of these for a two cell because this can check all the way from, uh, one cell batteries all the way up to six. Um, but I think it only came for wires for two to six. And right now this, I got the setup for either a three or a four cell, which that's the minimum I had. Now, if you wanted to check just a four cell, you see these wires here, there is actually five wires, as you can see there. The black one is always ground. And then the next four colors are your cells. So all of those are four more cells. So if you wanted to check like a three cell, if you look at this one, one black wire and three more wires, so that's three cells. If you wanted to check a three cell battery, you would take this, these two connectors, connect these two ends together like so, and then you take this end here and you plug the black wire into where it says ground. So the black wire always needs to be closest to ground. And then as you see here, you'd plug this into your battery. Now, it's a little bit more simple. I mean, it's not like it's difficult regardless. But if you want to check a 4-cell Traxxas battery to make sure it's balanced, all you need is this, because this is for 4-cell. You plug this in here. As you see, this is a 4-cell battery here. Let me slide this over a bit. Oh, we'll flip it over. All you do... Plug it in, make sure you're plugging it in the right way. And as you see, the readout says it's not quite balanced, but it's not horrible. 96 battery percent, uh, 415, 414, 415, and 416. I ran it a little bit today. I could balance charge it if I want. It doesn't stay on that long. It, it goes back to sleep, unfortunately. I wish the display was longer. Um, if you want to read it again, you just unplug this thing, plug it back in, and there you go. But this is very important to have. These do work. Um, I bought two of them because I was an idiot at first. But once I figured it out, because I didn't read the instructions like a moron, they're actually very good to use. Now, if you're charging the battery, which I can't show you, um, when you have it plugged in and stuff, it'll automatically go to balance charge if you're using a charger like this. Always leave it on balance charge. It's just better that way. And on your cell phone, which that's what I'm recording this video with, Unfortunately, it'll tell you the cell voltage as you're charging it. And that's very good. That's why I always like these live chargers. I do want to get the dual one that's 24 amp. This is just 12 amp. So eventually I will be getting that too. All right, guys. I just wanted to tell you the importance of these uh, balance checkers. All right. Have a good one, guys.